Hey everyone, welcome back to Road Reg. So on today's video, we're going to be servicing the air filter in my M140i. Now you might be thinking, why would you service it? Surely you would just replace it. And you'd be right in thinking that, but I'm running a K&N air filter. It's a panel filter designed not to be um, ever replaced, just serviced. And um, the car's just had its second major service, which includes oil, oil filter, air filter, cabin filter, and spark plugs. So it's my job now to service that air filter so I can complete the service on my car and I thought I would just walk you through the process really um, so yeah let's get straight into it okay guys so first things first we've got to take the air filter out of the car obviously so um, I'm just gonna pop the bonnet now I must apologize I didn't do a very good job at framing the uh, head cam Apologies for that, but um, let's gloss over that for now. So on the M140i's airbox, you've got three clips. Uh, that clip there was a little tight. I couldn't actually get it off by hand. So I ended up using a butter knife that I found in the kitchen drawer. Um, I actually use the handle just to pop up the clip. I normally would use a trim tool remover, but I couldn't find any. But uh, yeah, you've got to make do with what you've got, guys. So uh, let's take the air filter out. So the filter has been in the car for roughly 21,000 miles. It's really well sealed in there, so it took a little bit of jiggling. Uh, that's your k &N cleaning kit, which includes two items. One of which is your filter degreaser. And the other item is the K&N filter oil. Right, let's put that oil aside and start spraying down the filter with the degreaser. Now, when it comes to applying the degreaser, there's no rules really, just make sure it's liberally applied. I like to apply it to both sides and I highly recommend that you do too. And really soak it in get it absolutely covered in the stuff. For some reason, the trigger was fairly stiff on this particular bottle, as you can hear from the sound it's making. Right, I think that's enough degreaser. My finger is starting to hurt a little bit now. So uh, what we do is we'll give my hands a quick rinse off and then we're gonna set a timer for 10 minutes. That will allow the product to really work its way into the filter and break up any dirt. Right, now it's rinse time. As you can see, there is a lot of dirt coming off that air filter. The degreaser has done an excellent job of breaking it all up. And this is why I'm doing it on the top of the wheelie bin, as it's a light coloured surface. I thought it would give a good visual representation of the dirt coming off. And there was a lot of it. I'm surprised actually, the filter's only done 21,000 miles. And you could even see the colour change of the filter itself. Now I like to rinse it from both sides. Some people say that you should only rinse it from the intake side, but as you can see, there is no more uh, visual dirt coming off the air filter. So I rinse from both sides just to be sure. Okay, so the air filter is fully clean and thoroughly rinsed. Now it's time to wait for it to dry before we reapply the air filter oil. I'm just gonna lay down an old drying towel here just to absorb any moisture from the air filter whilst it's drying. Now I'd recommend leaving it for about an hour, but this is purely dependent on your climate. So uh, just keep an eye on it. Make sure you flip the filter upside down a few times and you can give the air filter a good shake as well if you want, just to get any excess water out. Okay, so now it's time to oil the air filter. So I like to do one light coat going from side to side or top to bottom. It doesn't really matter in which order you do so. And 
then what I like to do is leave that to wick for a few minutes and then come back and do another coat just to make sure all areas have been covered. So I've oiled the air filter and I'm now going to let it wick and um, I'm going to leave it for a considerable amount of time. I like to do this because I don't want any excess oil getting into my engine once I reinstall the air filter in the car. So yeah, we're just going to sit and wait now and um, let the oil do its thing and then reinstall it back in the car. The air filter is ready to go back in the car and um, yeah as you can see it's got a nice subtle pink hue to it both sides um, I've wiped off all the excess oil around the sides and I've given it a good amount of time to wick and I'm going to show you up close what it should look like when it's done I have to say I'm really happy of how this came out um, it actually looks like it did when it came out of the box, to be honest with you. And uh, that's what I love about k and air filters. Um, you know, I quite enjoy cleaning them. It's, uh, it's, it's good fun. So all that's left to do now, well, is to put it back in. So let's crack on. So what I'm going to do now is take the car out for a road test, get everything nicely up to temperature and then I'm going to pull over once we've obviously done a few miles and the engine is warm and try and get a few little sound clips for you so you can hear what the k and panel filter actually sounds like on this engine. All right, so that's gonna be the end of the video today. Thank you so much for joining me. I have been out for a test drive in the car and all seems good. She's driving like a dream. If anything, it feels a little bit more responsive, um, a little bit more eager to get going. I don't know if that's all in my head, it probably is. Um, but a clean air filter is always a good thing. And uh, yeah, I, ho I hope you enjoyed that. Um, please subscribe to the channel, leave us a like and a comment, and I'll see you again soon.